dog gon' be a dog, well, he keep bug or he bite. I got a nigga in that cell, I pray to y'all, he be alright. I'm bringing that pressure, rather they wrong or they right. And what's going on, guys? It's your boy Bass at it, and I'm back with another video. Quick disclaimer for the video pop out, guys. Um, we will be working on ghosts today, but I will, it won't be audio related. Um, I got some issues with ghosts that I'm about to start addressing. I got the music to the point where it's pretty decent right now, so the music content probably slow down a tad bit with ghosts, guys, just a tad. But what I will be working on is, um, like I said, a couple issues that I have with the car so far. Well, already, like, y'all know my window regulator's messed up. Um, I'm a tired dry riding on the car. That's why I don't too much drive it. So, I'm pretty much in the process of about to start working on the mechanical side of the car. So, I'm about to show y'all what our project going to be for the day. Um, very dangerous. I've been tiptoeing around in the car. It's super dangerous. If y'all interested in seeing that, like I said, Probably won't be no base content in this video unless I decide to get y'all a demo on the back end. But um, let me show y'all what I got going, man. Let's get it. Okay, guys, for starters, let me show y'all the tires and shit. Y'all see how dry right that shit is? Perfect. Perfect. Like it's crazy, bro. Like y'all see that split in the tire? And all four of them like that. All four of them is just straight dry rider, and that come from the car just sitting for them years when I had lost the key and as y'all can see wheel stood broke off this lug is stuck on there and every time I try to get it off the whole stud turned so I got some new studs for it um I gotta figure out a way to get that off but I do have new studs for it so this is basically gonna be our project for the day guys we got the Jack the car up, put all put both back tires on jack stand. You know what I'm saying? Lift the whole rear end up, and we got to try to figure out how we are gonna get all this shit here. All got to break the brakes down in the back, take the road off, and um, this is some all these guys that's behind this wheel to get to the wheel stud, and we're gonna replace those. Definitely need though. That's why I say I've been changing it. I don't too much drive this car, but this is how the back tire look. Like all four tires are dry rider like hell. And then on top of that, like I say, the only winner that actually work on this car is like the passenger side. It's a lot of stuff that still needs to be done to this car for sure to make it reliable and highway ready. So I'll be able to attend them shows. I won't have to pull it to the show with the truck or nothing like that. I mean, the car got insurance and good tag and everything. So it'll be too just unnecessary wear and tear on the truck to have to pull it to a show you know what i'm saying when the car perfectly capable of getting itself there but i gotta get it to that point though guys if you haven't man make sure you click the notification bell hit that like button hit that subscription button man and let's get it okay guys so as y'all can see we got the jack stand on it and we still got the jack up under it for extra support they need to go too high off the ground, man, because the only thing I'm trying to get to is this part. I am going to jack the car up a little higher when my homeboy come with a flow jack. Because I'm going to be real with y'all. Y'all see how my jack leaning a little bit. <sighs> it's shot out that I had the jack for a while, man. It's shot out. But when he come with that flow jack, man, we're going to get it up off the ground a little bit higher. But what I am going to start doing is breaking it on um, caliber down so we can get the rotor off it. And we can start changing these uh, studs out. And, and as y'all can see, this right here is hanging. And it actually goes up to like a um, sensor on top of there that broke off years ago, man. So, it got something to do with the emissions or something like that right there, guys. So, I got to take it back to the shop. We'll probably get up under it once I get on some good level, steady ground and... Get it jacked up real nice, put jack stands on and all the other good stuff. Get up under it, drop the gas tank just a little bit. And uh, go get the part I need to connect that back. Because after the car run for a while, you 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 can't smell the emissions. Like, you you can smell all that unburnt, unused gas. Like, you can smell it. I ain't got no gas leaks in there, but you can smell them fumes, though, after, after a certain while. So, that goes back to what I was telling y'all when I say it's a lot of work that still got to be done to this car. And um, 
I actually have some more springs for it. I'm probably not going to change those out right now. But uh, I am going to order some air shots for it. I see. Y'all yeah, see that nut back there in the back? That goes to the top of the shop or whatever. Should be a fairly simple job. I ain't going to lie. I don't want to curse myself. But it should be a fairly simple job when I get around to doing it. We're going to put some air shots on it. But while I got this side up, um, I am gonna put some spring spray spaces in it for now to sit it up some more in the rear. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably put two on each side or maybe go with four how I used to have it when I had my 24s on it. I had them spring lifters on each side, like two, one right here, one on the opposite side, one on the opposite side. I had four of them when I had my rims on it. So I'll probably do that again just to help me out in the back with all the extra weight with the music or whatever so we won't be squatting so bad. I'm gonna make it way better, but for now we're gonna go and start breaking the caliber down and uh, we about to do that, man. Let's get it. Okay, guys, so as y'all can see, we got the road off and y'all can see the broken stud. Now we just got to play around and try to figure something out as far as like how we gonna get the other studs in, but I got small finger, guys, so I may be able to make it happen, man. I got small, tough-ass finger, man, but we're going to see can we make it happen some kind of way. But the only thing left to do now is uh, knock these studs out, which y'all see I got my hammer. Uh, knock these two out, because these are two that fucked up. So we're going to get a hammer, we're going to beat those out, and we're going to go in the car, and we're going to get our replacement studs and see can we get them in. See, can we get them seated real good? And then, um, we're going to reassemble everything, man. You see the, um, the brake caliber right here or whatever. So, it going fairly smooth, man. And keep in mind, guys, I'm going to be honest, this is my first time trying this. You know, I ain't scared to come out here and fuck with the car. I got pretty good connections, so if I mess something up, you know, I got my homeboy, I got my cousin, um, I got a guy that's right across the street from me, man. You know, he work on cars all the time, so I'm pretty sure he probably wouldn't mind coming helping me out if I run across a real snag. But a job like this right here, fairly simple. Um, What can I say? And as y'all can see, I already put the lifters on it. So when I put the wheel back on, this side will be sitting up higher in the back. I just got to go up town and get some more lifters. So when I take the wheel off the other side, you know, I can lift the other side as well this way. We won't be squatting so bad in the back. Uh, Y'all can see the front raised up, but that's just because the car is already jacked up. But I am going to put some more lifters in the front. I know this is not the audio content that y'all YouTube, but this is an all-around car channel, guys. So, this is what we doing today, man. We changed the brake. I meant the uh, wheel stud. So, with all that talking said and done, let me go and beat these out, put these new ones in, and I turn the camera back on. As y'all can see, I got a new stud in. It's really only one sweet spot, and it'll be back up on that little loop right here, y'all see? Back up on there. Like I said, I have small fingers and small hands, so it wasn't too big of a deal. I had to tinker around with the, um, you know, line it up or whatever, but it wasn't really bad at all, guys, whatsoever. So now what I'm about to do, putting the nut on it, thread the nut in, and all. Um, and basically tighten it back down. That's all you got to do. Thread the nut on. And the nut going to actually pull the new stud through and tighten it up. And then we're going to do it to the next one. And this will be completed. Let me show y'all the difference. This the one that came off, guys. Like, give y'all a quick comparison. Like, you got that. So, yeah. Ghost one safe at all to actually drive, man. That's why you don't. I wasn't really going anywhere too tough in it because I don't want the wheel falling off. And I definitely ain't trying to have no blowout with all the damn weight in the back of the car and all the other good stuff, guys. So, yeah. Now, let me finish this. I got to go and pick my kids up in about an hour and a half, two hours. So, I want to at least get the brakes back reassembled. And then when I get back, I'll be able to actually put the tie back on. And, you know, I let the car back down and all the other good stuff will be good to go. So,
Okay, guys, so I'm going to end the video off right here, man. We're going to do a part two tomorrow. It'll be driving tomorrow. I have that um pouch side, the real pouch side. I have that back assembled, and it'll be already lifted. Then we'll start on taking the driver real towel and start jacking that up and um putting the coil spring spacers on it to help with the um with the squat on the car. Didn't want to make the video too long because it actually taking longer than I expected. And like I told y'all, I had to come pick my kids up from school. And you know, it started to get dark real fast. So I don't want to make the video too long. So if y'all rocking with this type of content, man, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I ain't gonna start the base content at all. I got some good demos on the way. Um, I still got to show y'all what go sound like after I adjusted the, um, the um, bass knob and all the other stuff, guys. So. I got videos on the way, but I just want to get ghost to the point where I can I can use them in my everyday driver. You know what I'm saying? I can give my truck a, a break for real. That's like the only thing that stopped me from driving goes was the wheel stud and dry rider tires. You know that that heat work a one. So I ain't too concerned about that. Next, after I get the wheel stud taken care of, after I get the tires, and I'm gonna start ordering my window regulator and all the other good stuff. So. No, it's not the typical content, guys, but this is an all-around car channel, so y'all just stick with me through this journey, man. I just want y'all to see Ghost evolve. When life give you lemons, man, you got to make the best out of it. So when life give you lemons, you got to make lemonade out of it, man. Through all type of art, through all type of dials, man. Whatever may come your way, speed bumps or whatever, man, you got to keep pushing. And that's what I'm doing with this car, man. They get it, man. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. I'm bringing that pressure. Gravity wrong or right. A snake gon' be a snake, whether it's dark or it's light. A dog gon' be a dog, whether he bark or he bite. I got a nigga in this hell, I pray to y'all he be alright. I'm bringing that pressure. Gravity wrong or right.